I just finished watching Everything Cool, and um, you know, it's great to watch something that basically encapsulates, you know, how you feel, and to hear actually researchers and scientists who um, who've been studying this the problem of global warming saying that you know we probably have like you know less than 10 years to make s substantial changes if we're going to avert um, some calamities um, and to even hear folks saying you know I can't think of the guy's name but saying basically that you know he pretty much has given up and um, you know because of the speed our government can react and uh, make change that pretty much um, it's it's just it's unlikely and given that you know that uh, reality why even bother so I mean here is a guy who spent the last 20 30 years fighting this you know fighting this uh, global warming issue and finally in 1997 I mean, in 2007, um, basically, they, um, you know, come back. So, what I recommend is, like, there's all these great, you know, like, uh, food. Um, you know, here's one. You know, uh, um, all these great documentaries, which are really great on net Netflix that you can, um, you can watch. And one of the beautiful things about, actually, Netflix is that for the first time, you can find the truth. I mean, these, you know, these aren't, you know, people who spend tens of thousands of dollars to produce these documentaries aren't doing it to get rich. You don't make, you don't become rich off these documentaries. They do it because they really believe that this message needs to be heard, right? If you're going to get rich, you're going to produce a real movie or, 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 or wait, you know, spend your time doing things that make you rich. You don't, you know, spend your time making a, a documentary called Food Inc. or, you know, uh, Iraq War Uncovered or, you know, um, um, Weapons of Mass Destruction, right? Independent investigation reporter and film, Danny, whatever, documentary focused on how the media shaped people's views of the Iraq War through intense coverage of the war's inception. You know, here's... Um, Howard Zinn, you can't be neutral. You know, Matt Damon narrates this bio, um, biographical portrait of historian activist Howard Zinn, author and uh, pivotal a people's history of the United States, who's been in the forefront of progressive thought in America for decades. I haven't watched that yet. You know, the end of poverty, you know, the end of poverty, exploring the history of poverty in developing countries. Filmmaker Philip Diaz contends that today's economy um, inequalities arose as a result of colonization, military conquest, and slavery, um, which wealthier countries seize uh, this, uh, the resources of the, po of, of the poor. Basically, probably talking about this so social, you know, blue gold, you know, 2009, narrated by Michael um, McDowell. This award winning documentary from director Sam, you know, um, um, Sambozo, I can't read, you know, that we're coming closer and closer to a world which water, seemingly plentiful and natural, could actually incite war. You know, these are, I think, um, you know, very, um, uh, you know, there's, there's other ones, you know, reviews here. The beautiful thing about Netflix is you can actually, you know, see, um, you know, uh, the documentaries is probably the most important channel to watch um, and there is so many that that are important so yeah you know, see all I didn't see sicko yet but you know the corporation um, some of these you can't you have to order because you, you can't see them you know Fahrenheit 9 I don't know why Fahrenheit 911 is in a, a automatic watch it's a shame that some of these things you can you you actually have to um, you want. an inconvenient truth great why is it that we can't just play and watch it it's a shame I don't know why Netflix is making us order some of these things and you can't just watch I've seen it already but you know these I believe probably if you have time spend time watching this is your way 
to basically self-actualization. You know, this is the way you cut through the white noise. This is the way you find, you know, the truth about things. Um, you find another perspective in, instead of the one being shoveled to you every night on Fox and a very controlled Rupert Murdoch media. This is the way that you can basically set yourself free and learn basically what, you know, what isn't going to be on mainstream news. Um, you know, and I think it's important. I think it's important for everyone, you know, watch these with your family watch these as a you know discuss them in schools I think if you had a class a documentary class and just had kids like hey your homework is to watch a do you know order get Netflix watch a documentary a night and then come and, and, and talk about it in class you would probably have a much better American society than what you can imagine these are the things I believe that are probably some of the most important you know um, works that are available to discuss you know and and if we you know, and, and it's just important to do so all right well I you know I watch a lot of documentaries when I was in Japan you know I was downloading a lot of these and watching them so it's really nice I don't have to download them or search for them that they're all here together and you know um, another one from this Issues the world, uh, the blood diamond, huh? So interesting stuff. Mission accomplished. Seven months after President Bush flanked mission accomplished banner, uh, declared the war is over. British journalist Sean Lagan sing singularly chronicles events and interviews um, parties on both sides of the war. This looks very interesting. Actually, that one I can play. So, as you can see, most of these things have four stars on them. Um, I really enjoy the education that these provide.